Hi DIYers, Sterling from Alarm Grid here and today we're going to show you how to address a Honeywell 6160 alphanumeric keypad. All keypads for the newer Honeywell Vista series panels need to be addressed. The Vista 20P that this keypad is connected to comes with a default address of 16 enabled for a console keypad. Therefore the system is programmed for a keypad on address 16 but the keypads will ship uh, unaddressed on address 31. So what we're going to need to do is power this up and address it to address 16 which again is already on and enabled and then that way the keypad will work. Um, if you go and power the system on which I'll have my helper plug in the transformer. Right now the system is unpowered. We've removed battery and transformer. Now we're going to put transformer back on. You can see the keypad light up cycles the lights and the keypad display is blank. We get calls all the time about people wondering why their keypad does not work. It's because it's not addressed. So I'm going to have my helper unplug it again. So that was a demonstration of how you may think your keypad is not working but it's really just not addressed. So to address it initial, upon the initial power up Within 50 seconds, you're going to have to press and hold 1 and 3, and then we're going to set the keypad address to 16. When you hold 1 and 3, it'll show con address equals 31, which is the default address it ships with, and then we're going to set it 1, 6, star, star to confirm, and that will set it to 16, which is on in the panel, and then it will work. So I'll have my helper power the system back on comes on, press and hold 1 and 3 to address. You can see it says con address equals 31. Again, 31 is the default address. 1, 6 to change it to address 16. Star to confirm the selection. And now we're going to let it boot up. It says busy standby. D1, that is the normal boot up sequence. After about a minute, this will go away and the system should read disarmed, ready to arm, assuming that we don't have any issues with our system. You can see on the nice LCD, you get the backlight here. That will time out. You can press, you can wake it back up by pressing any of these keys. We're still just waiting for this busy standby to go away. Okay, we are showing a fault on zone eight. And actually that's because we have not connected to zone eight and it's enabled in the programming. So we're gonna have to go ahead and delete that. But other than that fault, the system looks to be good. And it's reading, showing this. So one, two, three, four, away. Well, actually, it's because it's in fault. One, two, three, four, off. Clears out the fault. And now this is the normal display. Disarmed, hit star for faults. If all the zones were ready, now it's kicking on with the fire trouble. These are very common errors on a, on a new install. The Vista panel comes programmed with zone one for fire. Zone 2 as an entry delay door, zones 3 through 8 as perimeter doors. So depending on what you actually have connected to your system, you'll find that when you boot up, you'll have a lot of these trouble sequences. Programming in the panel will help you get through all of that. You can press any key to silence that beeping, and then you press star to show, and it will cycle through any faults. Again, the zone 8, and then shows our fire trouble. But that is the addressing of a Honeywell 6160 alphanumeric keypad.